Shohashi, The Courage to Pursue Your Dreams. A long, long time ago, there was a man who believed in himself, and with great courage, he went on to make his dreams come true. He lived right here in our hometown of Nanjo City. Do you know about this man? My shoe. Aw, poor dog. Did someone abandon you? Come here, boy. Come. A child playing with a dog at Sashiki Uigusuku. Why, this sight reminds me of Shohashi. Huh? There's usually nobody here. And now here comes a strange old Oji. <sighs> Maybe I should just go home today. Take care of that dog. Huh? People of Nanjo City should especially take great care of dogs, you know. Huh? Why? I don't get it. Do you mean we should be good to animals? But what do you mean that people of Nanjo City should especially take good care of them? You know, they say that a dog protected the great Shohashi. Shohashi? Like the king? Huh. You know about Shohashi? Duh, he united Okinawa, the Ryukyus, and he became king, right? I know about Shohashi. We learned about him in school. But I've never heard about him being protected by a dog. I guess you wouldn't learn about this in school. Well... Shohashi was actually abandoned right after he was born. What? Abandoned? But why? Well... Shohashi was born to a young maiden, and his father was the Aji of Sashiki. Aji? What's that? Is that like a fish or something? <laughs> a fish? How could his father be a fish? And Aji was like a mayor or an official of today. So Shohashi was born as the son of an Aji and a young lady. But sadly, the young lady's parents were against her marrying the Aji. Shohashi's mother was so sad 
that she wanted to disappear together with her son. Like, go somewhere far away? Hmm, she must have been so distraught, trying to figure out what to do, poor girl. Her parents wouldn't give her their blessings, and she couldn't marry the father of her child. She couldn't find a way to live, just her and the baby. Then suddenly, an old man with silver white hair appeared before her and said, This child will become king. You must not take his life. An old man with silver white hair? Who? What? Was it God? Anyway, the young girl was even more torn. And in the end, she took the baby by the Amachijo Gama cave and left him there. Oh no, the poor baby. Mm-hmm, you're right, the poor baby. Well, the young woman couldn't stop thinking about her baby and went back about a week later. And what she saw, she couldn't believe. There was a bird that cradled the baby and kept him warm. And there also was a dog that was giving him milk and protecting him. What? No way. I don't believe you. I don't blame you. It really is unbelievable. And the young woman, too, she couldn't believe it either. Oh, this child really is special. I mustn't let him die, she thought, and brought him home with her and raised him with great care and love. Well, good, but I wonder what a dog's milk tastes like. Hmm, here, doggy, let me see. Let's see if I can milk you. Let me see. Oh, oh, you're a boy. <sighs> hey there, child. Are you listening to my story? Oh, uh-huh. I'm listening. I'm listening. And so, what happened to Shohashi? Well, the young Shohashi grew up healthy. And although he was small for his age, whatever he put his mind to, he never gave up. He grew up with a very strong will. Also, whatever he did, it was always something extraordinary. So the people called him Aji of Sashiki, the little Aji. Shohashi, the little Aji, grew up with plenty of love and attention from the people of the village. But let me tell you about something during those days in the long past. There were no iron on the island for the people to use, and so iron had to be purchased in countries far away. Iron? 
like the metal? That's right. People needed them to make tools, and they say there was a very skilled blacksmith who lived in Yonobaru back then. What's a blacksmith? A blacksmith is a person who makes tools from iron. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> Good. A blacksmith is a craftsman that makes tools. Anyway, Shohashi once visited this blacksmith and asked him to make him a sword, which took three years to make. Three years? Was the sword really huge or something? No, it wasn't big, but Shohashi asked the blacksmith to take all the time that he needed to make a very special high quality sword. Then one day, a foreign ship arrived at the port in Sashiki, carrying a very big load of iron. The captain of the ship took one look at Shohashi's sword, and he had to have it. After a long negotiation, the captain agreed to exchange all the iron on his ship for that very special sword. shipload for a single sword? Wow, that sounds like a rip-off. No, no. That's how great the sword was. That sword was truly worth it, especially from the eyes of someone from a distant land. Hmm, a mountain of iron for just one sword. But why did Shohashi want all that iron anyway? Shohashi had plans, a real dream of a plan. A plan? A dream? Uh-huh. You see, during the period that Shohashi lived, trade with other countries was flourishing, and at the same time, agriculture was also a big part of people's lives. But during those days, farming tools were made of mostly wood. Even today, farming is a lot of hard work. But back then, it was much harder than you can imagine, especially with the tools that they had. Shohashi grew up with a very gentle heart, 
and he was very caring. He saw close hand how hard the farmers worked, and he always thought, I wish there was something I could do to help. Then he finally realized what he could do. He wanted to get farming tools that were easy to use and more convenient for the farmers, and most importantly, he wanted to give them tools that were made of iron so they were strong and durable. Oh, that's why he wanted all that iron. And he knew that someone from a foreign land would really want that special sword. So he purposely walked around with it so that the captain of the ship would see it. What a great plan! That's amazing! He was just a kid, but his mind was like a grown up. <laughs> A boy who was going to be king someday. Hmm, sounds like he was totally different from a boy like me. Hmm, different? Do you think he was very different from you? Have you heard of the saying, Utsui ya Takara? Um, nope. It means the elderly are treasures. We're all here today thanks to the older folks, you know. It's because of all the hard work that they did all their lives that we are all here today. The meaning behind the saying tells us to always be grateful and treat the elderly with respect and take great care of them. Shohashi never forgot that and always treated the villagers with appreciation, respect, and care. Even though he was still a very young child, he never forgot to extend his kindness to others. The villagers saw this in Shohashi and treated him like he was their own child. This is how Shohashi was loved and trusted by the people, and over time, he made strong ties with even more people. That's how he was able to accomplish the big task of bringing together three separate kingdoms on this island and uniting them as one. It really is amazing, isn't it? And maybe there's something that you can do too. 
Me? It's true. Shohashi had remarkable vision and imagination for the future. The power of foresight may sound difficult to achieve, but think of it like having a dream and having a caring heart. Or, what we call chimugukuru is important as well as determination and appreciation. What do you think? Is there something you think you can do too? To have a dream, to be caring, and To have determination and appreciation? Hmm. Yes. Oh, and after that, you need the courage to step forward and pursue your dreams. Simply start with something that you can do, and like Shohashi, once you decide to do something, see it through. Have a strong heart. A strong will. Just start with one thing that you can do at a time. Hmm, I think I can do it. Start with one thing. One thing I can do at a time. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> you? That's your name? Your name's Dew too? So you're not an abandoned dog. Phew. Hey, Ryu. Maybe it was your grandpa's grandpa's grandpa that gave milk to Shohashi. Aw, thank you, Ryu. Oh. Wait. No, that can't be right. Maybe it was your grandma's grandma's grandma. Hey, where did the old man go? Oji! 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 You can be the next Shohashi. Work hard, do your best. Chibari yo! ロマンチョのたにしょはしのごとのこころざしたかとさんさちばきいかな